again, my name's Gabe Zona. This is the 18th of February, 2019. Wiley provided a rather interesting link in the comment section on ZollnerReport.com. And it was published by the American Free Press back on December 31st, 2011. The title is a little bit misleading. Title, Did Eric Holder cover up FBI's role in 95 Oklahoma Kansas City bombing plot question mark what it should have read was Eric H Holder covered up FBI's role in 95 Oklahoma Kansas City bomb plot exclamation mark instead of a question mark in 2005, just ahead of the Department of Homeland Security's the Federal Bureau investigation, recovered a box of kinetic explosives from the home of Terry Nicholas, the convicted co-conspirator of Tim McVeigh in the Oklahoma bombing. See, Terry Nicholas and Tim McVeigh were patsies. Terry Nicholas was used as was Timothy McVeigh, to cover up what our government did to destroy the documents that were being stored in the Murray building. Which documents were those? Well, those were all the documents on Whitewater. Who worked on Whitewater back then? Oh yeah, the previous FBI director, James Comey. Uh-huh. You see how the garbage keeps getting recycled, huh? No different than the way Eric H. Holder Jr. popped up way back in 1995. You want to read the article, it's most fascinating. And again, there's no doubt in my mind that the FBI and the CIA have been and are behind all of these nasty events that have occurred and will continue to occur. You know why? Well, you know why. There's no one to go to. Can you imagine spending the rest of your life in a maximum security prison knowing you've been set up as Terry Nicholas was and as Timmy McVeigh was? Hmm? They did intend to do harm to the Murray building. They didn't know why. They thought, well, they're going to punish those government people that did what they did in Texas. Folks, all bullshit. But once again, it's amazing how the garbage just keeps getting recycled. That's sort of what I think. I actually heard that Eric H. Holder Jr. might in fact throw his hat for the 2020 presidential election. Wouldn't that be something? Huh? Well, we already had one of those in the White House, didn't we? <laughs> Read the article. Let me know what you think. Yeah, sure, so I'll know what I think. You might want to repost this in all your social media accounts. You might want to pass along to like-minded friends. Ask them to do the same. Thanks for listening.